Good evening, late afternoon. Thank you for joining me for Compline from my office at Grace Episcopal Church in beautiful, historic downtown Anniston, Alabama. We'll pray Compline together by getting the Book of Common Prayer and going to page 127. Take a moment of silence to collect ourselves. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Take a moment of silence before we confess our sins to God and our neighbors. Together. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may the Almighty God grant you forgiveness of all your sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Let's read the first seven verses of Psalm 91, beginning on page 129. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinion, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler, and you shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand fall at your right hand and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. At the bottom of page 131. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly of heart, and you shall find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. Uh, a scripture reflection for today is going to be from Matthew chapter 9 beginning at the ninth verse and as jesus passed on from there he saw a man called matthew sitting in a tax office and he said to him follow me and he rose and followed me and it happened that he was reclining at the table in the house beholding many tax collectors and sinners came and were dining with Jesus and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why is your teacher eating with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard this, he said, It is not those who are healthy who need a physician, but those who are sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire compassion and not sacrifice. For I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Amen. So today, um, or tomorrow, is the feast day of St. Matthew. And one of the keys about Matthew is this call that he has. He's a tax collector, which makes him an, an outcast in his community. He's taken on work that, you know, others find uh, deplorable. Kind of like I suppose during a, during a union strike in coal mines or steel mills, he, he'd be like a scab, someone who would go in and, and do that and would be ostracized. And, and yet Jesus calls him. And I think all of us know, I'm 
some place in our lives in some way we can relate to Matthew in that sort of being outside. You know, we've all had that experience of being left out, not part of the group, and how it hurts. And hopefully, too, we experience God's call into the midst of that hurt, that midst of that broken space in us that says, come follow me. He doesn't call our strengths as much as he calls our weaknesses. He doesn't say, hey, you're really good at this. Why don't you come and follow me? No, he says, I see that you have space in your life, in your heart, because of your wound, of your brokenness, of your need. So come follow me. So that invitation still goes to us today. Come follow me. Amen. We continue with the prayers on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Look down, O Lord, from your heavenly throne, and illumine this night with your celestial brightness, that by night as by day your people may glorify your holy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, all for your love's sake. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Top of page 135, the prayer of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right. In A3, the number 189, what a friend we have in Jesus. We'll give it a swirl.
go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Know God's love and grace in the midst of your need and want. Amen.